Good morning. Day two of my tour of Catalonia. It's been raining all night, thunder and lightning. I don't want to jinx anything now, but I think that the rain has kind of calmed down. So I'm uh, taking my chances and uh, starting pedaling north. So I'll just uh, move my bike up from the storage area and load it and then we'll get going. See you on the road. business today is uh, to go to a Decathlon store and buy some gas from my camp stove. That's about like five, seven kilometers from here. So it looks like a nice day in the rain. So I actually found a Decathlon store right here in the middle of the city but it looks like in a mall or something, so I'm, I'm not that comfortable leaving my bike outside. So I'm just gonna pedal on and uh, go to one of the Decathlon stores that are in the suburbs instead. Like I said earlier, there are uh, really nice cycle paths in here in Barcelona. Not so many cyclists, only see mopeds and, and motorcycles. Nice cycle paths, no bikes. like the theme for today. You cycle about 10 minutes, then you stop for 10 and then you go again. So it's uh, the benefit of uh, not really leaving Barcelona yet is that I can find these uh, buildings with shelters that can stay out of the rain. I only cycled about 13 kilometers today. Uh, but I'm in no rush, it's only like half past 12, so I'll just wait out the rain and, and uh, cycle on. Ah, what a stupid mistake I made. I've been crisscrossing all over this. Uh, suburb town of Barcelona and then I just look down and I see this <laughs> oh like a cycle super highway instead of crisscrossing amongst pedestrians the cycle highway seems to be closed anyways 
until uh, October 22nd, so I just have to carry on the same path I was going. So the rain has stopped for a while now. Uh, I, I don't want to take off my jacket, both because it dries up in a few minutes when the rain stops and uh, I also don't want to jinx anything. I guess as soon as I put the jacket back in the pan here, it's gonna start pouring again. So I'll... It's not... I mean, it's probably like 15 or 70 degrees, maybe 20, so... I'm not, in, I'm not sweating that much either, so... I'm quite comfortable. So I was just in the supermarket and uh, bought some dinner and and some food for tomorrow morning. And what do you know, it started raining again. <laughs> Looks like this is the never ending rain. Taking shelter from the rain again, sounds familiar. <laughs> oh, this time I found myself a car wash at a gas station. Pick a cycle about 500 meters from, from the from the supermarket, but couldn't go on. Uh, the, I was just scared of the cars not seeing me. So the shoulder is like at the most half a meter wide. So I'm just gonna wait this out also. And it doesn't look that good. It's like I don't know if you can see. It's like really dark <laughs> everywhere. This can go on for a while. I had to uh, change my uh, route as well. I was actually gonna carry on on the C59 uh, kind of highway, but not in this weather. So now I'm going up a, a big uh, hill on a smaller road, and uh, we'll carry on from there and see where we'll end up. Take a look at this. <laughs> That's totally crazy. I'm not going out in that. The only negative thing today is that uh, it's already almost 4 o'clock and uh, it's maybe 2 hours left of the sunlight before I have to find some place to camp for tonight. And uh, there haven't been that much forest yet and the foresty parts are kind of uh, hilly. So. Not good for camping, but we'll hope we'll find something. Tonight's dinner consisting of pollo or <laughs> uh, chicken, chicken fillet, and uh, some couscous. This was the smallest pa package I found at the supermarket. The chicken's cooking now, and the couscous. Is almost getting done. I'm, <laughs> I'm really hungry now. I could eat a whole horse. I think this is gonna be good. Mm. Really good. Boy, am I happy! I uh, lost something, and so that meant uh, going through all of my four panniers and my handbar bag and I couldn't find it and uh, after uh, another thorough check of the handbar bag I finally found this thing that's the quick release for my tripod uh, I used it last uh, in the airport when I uh, made the time lapse of uh, getting the bike together and uh, I just threw it down in some suitcase or panel I mean uh, I gotta learn from that you can't do that everything has to have its own place otherwise it's chaos and it just took me like half an hour to get this thing back again but it's here 
Uh, so it's finally stopped raining outside and uh, when I looked at the weather forecast for this night and tomorrow it, it looked like it could maybe come a, a few drops this night but tomorrow it should be sunny and cloudy. It will be nice with some sun tomorrow <laughs> uh, so I can finally dry off my uh, jacket and, uh, and shorts. Uh, today I actually didn't take my cycling shorts or uh, I instead just took my regular shorts so this night I have to sleep in my uh, underwear so now I'm just gonna hit the sack and uh, listen to a podcast and uh, read my ebook so have a good night and uh, see you tomorrow for day three